Welcome to another episode of The Budget Build. And we start in a very interesting place at the moment because I just got off of the phone with Terrain Tamer and uh, Andy doesn't know anything about this. He contributes his time, his energy to come out, get out of the vehicle to film, be behind the camera for days on end and really help make Roam Over Landing happen. So I reached out to Terrain Tamer to see if they would be prepared to help out on the budget build a little bit. And they have gone leaps and bounds ahead of what we were expecting. We're going to be heading to Cape Town with the Isuzu and we are going to be fitting a whole suspension upgrade to the Isuzu and Andy knows zero about it. The suspension is a nightmare on that vehicle. The bushings are all shot. Andy's way over budget. Um, there is no money to actually be able to do the suspension properly anymore. This is huge. What they're going to do is they're going to send up two rear shock absorbers for now because that is something that Andy we were going to buy shock absorbers. So that's something that Andy is expecting. But we're going to send them up so that he can we can at least drive down to Cape Town without damaging his new tires. Hopefully the next time we catch up with you guys, we're actually going to be packing up and heading to Cape Town with the Isuzu and my Hilux. I'm hoping Andy is going <laughs> to be taken completely by surprise with what is going to be waiting for us in Cape Town. This is the beginning of our adventure with the budget build. We have had a brutal, brutal past few days and uh, we've had a pretty good day on the road, but we are tired. We got to bed at two in the morning last night. We were up at five this morning, so we are bushed. So we're gonna just take it easy this evening. It's windy. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. We're not gonna have any terrible weather pull in, but uh, we are probably gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow morning as we start making our way into the Tankwa. Yeah, it's easy to get in. <laughs> it's actually almost <laughs> less <laughs> slip than... I still can't believe the length of this thing. I see you in space. I can check all the trees over here. I can check at night. Anything I want to. It's so nice. It's really, really you know nice. all those times where people are like oh poor Andy he sleeps on the floor and all that stuff look at you now <laughs> look at you now I've been upgraded <laughs> yeah this is ridiculous <laughs> it's like a... I mean you you what you one step away from having a TV there watching movies lying there yeah 367 degree view with a remote well I've already got air conditioning air conditioning <laughs> ridiculous I love it. It's actually quite magnificent out here if you check out here. Beautiful. You can see so far. Tomorrow morning, Annie, we're doing budget coffee. So you're going to have to make the coffee. So people can see how do you make coffee when you don't have a 2000 rand jet boil. <laughs> You're rubbing sticks. <laughs> oh goodness. We're having a little breakfast here at Cambrua. Today we are starting our adventure with the budget build. The budget build has been going ahead pretty swimmingly. It's been really great so far, touching wood. <laughs> Funny enough, yesterday, the only car that got a check engine light was my vehicle. So that is a, an unlikely turn of events. We're going to be meeting up with Nikki from Terrain Tamer and his son Andrew. They are in their very own budget build. They've got a Tata 4x4 that uh, they've been working on as a project vehicle for a couple months now, I think. We're going to be having a lovely little adventure through the Tankwa Karoo National Park. We're going to be going to see some places in, in and around the Tankwa as well. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So this is Andy's first proper big trip in his own truck. It's the Old Soldier's Maiden Voyage. And so far, so good. Yesterday was the longest Andy has driven in his life. We did a good seven hours yesterday, 700 Ks, and um, it went beautifully. The Suzu just ate it up. Much more fuel efficient than my vehicle. Much easier to drive, because it's just got so much power. And yeah, 
Really, really impressive stuff. So I think we are going to have a whale of a time on this little adventure and I hope you're gonna join us and enjoy. So I'm sure you always think, why do we film deflating tires? It's not about deflating tires. It's about the symbolism of what deflating tires means. It means the adventure is just about to begin. We're hitting the gravel road. It's Andy's first time deflating the tires on the Isuzu. This is a milestone. This is the first time the Isuzu is going on a proper adventure since we've taken it. So. This is big. This is a massive moment. We're about an hour away from meeting up with Nikki and Andrew and then in the Tata. And we're about to enjoy the beautiful R355 tire killer road. Hopefully it will not kill our tires today. <laughs> Boys! How are you? Good on you! All right, man. Fancy meeting you out ah. here! Hey? We just went for a little drive. Just Fancy the... meeting you! <laughs> yeah, ooh, how did we get <laughs> here? <laughs> what a coincidence! All right, this is the road I want to take to the town car. Yeah, have you driven this one before? I don't know. No, I haven't. It's not. Because you can come in, but just west of where the Ham. Yeah, Kanaka. Kanaka Pass starts. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we're a bit late, huh? you guys wanted to stop. So it was your birthday yesterday? Yeah, it was. And what, 18? Yeah. <laughs> Nicky, you're in trouble, huh? I am. You are in trouble. But he's a good man, sir. He's wild and free and has a 4x4. Yes, but he has enough money for fuel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep it that way. No money for fuel, no, no adventures. <laughs> We were trekking beautifully through the Tanque here. Some nice roads, a little bit of water damage on the roads, but nothing we can't handle. We're gonna actually be heading into the Tanque Karoo National Park now. Tonight we're actually staying at Stienkamsuk. You might remember that from the last time we explored the Tanque. We're actually gonna go and do Ganaga Pass as well, because it's just a nice little one to get the, you know, stretch the legs a little bit on the four by fours. We gotta start really nice and simple with Andy's Bucky and very different weather to what we had uh, the last time we were here. I don't, I think it's going to be pretty beautiful and clear views from there so I'm very much so looking forward to that. Nikki and Andrew haven't been here before so that's also a good first for them. They really enjoyed the episode we did when we came here last time. They've been wanting to come here since then so it's going to be really nice to go there and re-experience that awesome campsite.
not too shabby, Nige. That's what I say. How many times do we come up here? This is my second time. Okay. And you? First. What? Yeah, first time we're up here. It's awesome, eh? That little windy road, we followed that thing all the way. Okay. Let go of your clutch. Okay, so you see now as you go downhill Andy, you don't have to rely on your brakes to, to slow you. You let low range control the vehicle as we descend, okay? Okay. Cool, give it a go. You can try second to get a bit more speed, but you can also just play with first and see how it goes. Okay, cheers. We'll see you down there. So this is how you learn overlanding. Andy's making his way down the mountain pass now, using low range for the first time running through the different gears, feeling how it affects the vehicle, and learning how to use his 4x4. And this makes me so happy. Ganaga Pass was as beautiful as ever, and it's so different seeing it now at sunset versus when we saw it last time earlier in the morning. Really, really nice. And this Tankwa landscape is always stunning at sunset. It really comes alive. All the little bushes start to glow. The light paints and wraps itself around all the curves of the mountains. It's really quite stunning. We're going to be heading to our camp now. It's Dian Kam's Hook. Setting up for a nice evening of wild camping in the Tankwa Karoo National Park. So thoroughly, thoroughly looking forward to that. Apparently Andrew, Nikki's son, is going to be making us dinner tonight. So <laughs> let's see what he's going to do. This is where Andy is going to get the opportunity to use his low range to ascend. So, let's see how it goes. It's going very well. I'm totally impressed with it. It's a thousand times more than what I expected. You're having fun? More fun than I should really be having. <laughs> <laughs> uh, awesome. Okay, well, we're almost at camp, so okay, cool. last little bit now. This place is just awesome. I mean, where do you camp with views like this? I'll trade an ablution <laughs> for a beautiful view like this and solitude any day. Oh, Andy, is it good to be back here? Yes. And in your own vehicle? Yeah, eh? What's the chances of that? I never <laughs> thought it would happen. <laughs> And here's this beast standing. Is it sweeter getting here knowing you 4 by 4 yourself? Yes. <laughs> How was the little drive up? Actually lacquer. Mm. Really, that is something I enjoyed thoroughly for the first time. But I, at least you stopped me at the bottom, gave me some advice. The things that they taught us on the 4 by 4 advanced course. So you just got to keep that stuff in the back of your mind. But worth it. Oh, Amen. Awesome. Wow, look at this. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Like Beautiful. Nikki, Andy, how was it? It was fun. Beautiful. Yeah. Hey? And this campsite? It's amazing. Is it adequate? Yes. Does it does it um yeah. exceed expectation or I would go so far, yeah. Yeah. Look there's table mountains right there. Yeah. They want to go so far to see a table mountain. <laughs> there's table mountain. All you gotta do is come here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, let's get a fire going, get some food going. Budget for camping happening here. 
I'm seeing a trend. People sleeping in their cars. Sleep, people mm. sleeping in their cars. I feel like I'm doing it wrong. I'm sleeping on my car. The trick. Oh, I've got the penthouse suite. Where's, is it? Where's, where's that guy? <laughs> At least you're not on the ground floor anymore, Andy. <laughs> oh, this is brilliant. I love it. There's a platform here with some tubs underneath for storage. Do you know what it's all about for me, Nikki? It's the vibe of overlanding. Doesn't matter the vehicle. We're here with the Tata. I love it. There's 90, a 90,000 Ks on the clock. That's a budget build. 90,000 Ks on the clock. 90,000 Ks on the clock. We knew the previous owner. Yeah. And standing is under 50,000. <laughs> That's brilliant. Brilliant. And this is still on the, the factory suspension bar terrain tamer shocks. Yes. And it's We've running <laughs> uh, flash loop um, additives in everything okay. that's in there. And then we've got Andy has got half terrain tamer shocks. <laughs> and, half and, and half genuine. Yeah. They move very tired. They leak for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they come with adjustable. The problem is they just get worse and worse and worse. Adjustable one way. Thanks again for watching and we'll catch you on the next adventure. Cheers!